In this video I am gonna show you how to create and animate the same characters in Unreal Engine 5. If you want to capture facial performance with MetaHuman Animator you need an iPhone 11 or above. You also need a high spec PC with 32 gigs of RAM, better if you have 64 gigs of RAM. Then you have to install Lightning app on your iPhone. On first launch you should choose MetaHuman Animator. If you didn't do, didn't did not do it, you can type on gear in top left corner, click mode and select MetaHuman Animator. Then you should record your first collaboration video. It, you should do it only once for one character or for one actor actually. Uh, it's a short video between five or from five to two, ten seconds. You should look straight, then look right, look to the left, and then show your teeth as much as you can, like this. For example, let's record first calibration video. Then you can record as much videos as you can, as long as you can. The next videos will be for performance capture. Performance capture from the next videos will be transferred to MetaHuman characters in Unreal Engine. But first you should transfer your files to your PC. Click to the top or to the bottom left button. Click select. Select videos you want to share. Then click share in the bottom right corner and transfer it to maybe Google Drive or maybe email, uh, any way you want, any way you like, transfer it to your PC and let's switch to my PC for next steps. Okay, I moved videos to my PC, go to Epic Games, Unreal Engine, Marketplace, type MetaHuman, press MetaHuman plugin, press install to engine and choose Unreal Engine 5.2 or above. This plugin doesn't work on earlier versions. Ok, let's start Unreal Engine. Go Edit Plugins, type MetaHuman, enable it, then type Live Link and enable these two dots. After all, you have to restart your Unreal Engine to enable these plugins. After reboot, press right click, MetaHuman Animator, Capture Source. I'll name it My Videos. Open it. Choose Live Link Face Archive. Press three dots and choose the folder with your takes. Save it and close. Then press Tools, Capture, Manager, My Videos, select both of our takes, press Add to Queue, then press Import. Close it. Press right click, MetaHuman Animator, New MetaHuman Identity. I'll name it Me MetaHuman New. Open it. Create components from footage and choose your collaboration take. The first take we did. Here you should choose the frame where we look straight. You should click on neutral pose and then click plus. Then OK. As we see everything looks perfect. Press MetaHuman Identity Solve. Then press click body and choose body you like. Then press Mesh to MetaHuman, Auto Rig Identity Skeletal Mesh plus Full MetaHuman. Then press OK, then choose Poses, Add, Add Pose, Add Teeth. Then select the frame where we showed our teeth. 
press plus, OK. And we should little bit correct and show our teeth to the program. Press prepare for performance, OK. And here is a moment when we should wait for a while. You need at least 32 gigs of RAM. And it can take from 10 minutes up to few hours. OK, our model launched and it's ready to be animated. Press save and close. Press right click, MetaHuman Animator, MetaHuman Performance. Open it. Footage capture. We choose our second video with our performance, not calibration video. In MetaHuman Identity, we choose our MetaHuman we created right now. Press Process and Face Capture begins. OK, we tracked our face. It looks like this. Then go to Quixel Bridge, press MetaHuman, My MetaHuman. And here we see our new MetaHuman. We didn't set up, we still didn't set up it. You can apply hair, color skin, beard, anything you want. You can click uh, Start MetaHuman Creator and set up as you want. But I already created a MetaHuman and I choose it and I click Add. It adds my MetaHuman to collection. Let's go to our content and move our MetaHuman from content to the scene. Let's rotate it to 180 degrees with E. Oh, looks like I should restart my Unreal Engine to enable hair. OK, I restarted my Unreal Engine and now I see hair. Let's go back to MetaHuman Performance. Press Expert Animation. Let's name it like My Animation 1. Save it. And here we choose, uh, we have to choose our skeleton. But we have to choose our MetaHuman Skeleton. We have a Skeletal Mesh for Performer we created at first, but we have to choose MetaHuman Skeletal Mesh. It should be with textures and materials. Press Create. Great, it's saved. Let's close it. Here is it. Let's create a level sequence. Open it. Move our MetaHuman to our sequence, delete Ctrl Rig, press plus, animation, and let's look for our animation. Choose it. OK, now we see our animation on our MetaHuman. We also can add audio from our take to this sequence. Unfortunately for now, I don't know how to fix the floating head issue. If you have a motion capture suit or you have a bunch of cameras which allows you to make a motion capture without suit, we can export our face performance without head movement. Let's go to MetaHuman Performer. And here, before saving, we should choose Head Movement Disabled. That's it. And the body animation with head rotation will be imported from Suit. Let's look for how we can render it. Add camera. Adjust focal distance. For now, if you will try to render it, we 
we see that our hairs are out of depth of field. To fix it, press select camera, type depth of field, go to the bottom and press reference depth of field and enable. Now, if you try to render, we see no issues with hair. Let's render the whole sequence. Looks like we need one more plugin. Let's enable it. Go to Edit, Plugins, press type Render Q. OK, let's enable Movie Render Q. Then we have to restart our Unreal Engine again. OK, we activated it. Yeah, we see it. Press here. Now we have to set up our render. Add Path Tracer. Disable this and add Antilizing. Path tracer. I think we, we we only can add reference motion blur. In anti-aliasing, the second amount is about motion blur samples. The first amount is the whole scene samples. If you multiply each one, if you multiply it, we will get the total amount of subdue. So I'll choose 16 and 16. In total, we will get. 256 subdivs for the whole scene. Press render local and render starts. We can have some issues on the first frames, but this is okay. After a few frames, from 5 to 10, everything will be okay. You can see issues only in the very first frames. Here are our first frames of our animation. You see how it looks like. I advise you to path trace your animations because path tracing render looks much much better than real-time Unreal Engine render. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, press like and subscribe.